Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my walk on. Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. When I mean all, I mean all. I mean our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and you can find us first in line, I guarantee you. But if you want to see all our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. There you see all our visuals. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification so you don't miss out on any of this content every single day because we're giving out content for y'all all the time. But if y'all want to see the exclusive content, you got to go check out our membership. How you get to our membership page is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section. There's a link that says join our membership. Follow the instructions and that's how you can see everything before everybody else. Thank you in advance for all the love and support. Man, hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. We got some guys in here today. I'm not even going to play with y'all about these guys, man. Ever since I started Boss Talk 101, uh, I've been rooting for these guys right here. I started, when I first started, I said, I got to get these dudes on here together. I told both of them that. I told them that when I, when yeah. I first seen them. It was Father's Day. It was around Father's Day and Father's Day tomorrow. Early. I'm giving up our time. <laughs> but I was like, man, y'all bring your sons back. I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we got to bring the sons on here. I was trying to figure out how to bring my brothers together to show that fathers, you know, that you got some stand-up dads out here. You know what I mean? And and some kids that love their fathers. You know what I'm saying? And guess what, man? Check it, man. These boys is here today, man. Mr. Lucci, Mr. Pookie, man. Lay it down. I'm a crook for life. Hey, man. man. Say, man. Man, it's good to have y'all, man. Like I said, this is something I've been wanting to do ever since I started the show. So thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for even coming. I know y'all my dogs. I know y'all rock with me. See, niggas don't really know how, how I am about, about the, the true ones. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. And, I, and, and I'm not just capping. Like, it's certain dudes I just got a lot of respect for. And it's just because I've seen the come up and I value the music so much. So again, thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all brothers, man. Oh, Mr. Really? Maker, what you got for him today? I got to find out. How did y'all get together to create this dynamic duo? Like the first, first time y'all met each other. I want to hear that story from both of y'all. Wow. All right. Uh, on my end, mm -hmm. on my end, it was straight through Kev and A. But it was through K-Rock too, like, you know what I'm saying? But... Uh, Kevin, they told me about about Lucci. You know, I'm doing an album already. We starting. Uh, he told me about it. Told me about K Rock. K Rock, you know, seen him at the barbershop, and, and uh, he liked him. How old were you at this time? I'm 21, probably. Okay, so young. Yeah, I'm about 21. Maybe 22. I think wow. 21, though, because it took me a year to do the album. So. And when he said he um, he told you about him because he just thought that y'all would make a great collab? It, it, it wasn't even me. He was just telling me about, uh, you know, how good he was and, and you know, he had somebody else. And, um, and he brought him he brought him to the studio. Mm. You know, after, after, after that and shit, I heard his first verse. He spit his first verse that I heard him spit. And I was like, God damn. <laughs> and, and, and how old was you at the time? I was 15. You were 15? It was, it was wow. the one with the, uh, the, bubble, the, bubble, bu the bubble lights with the beans, the one you... He, he can't, can't forget. remember that. Yeah. He can't remember that shit, man. Well, he man. couldn't forget he that. Because we never put this verse down. We never, we never, he never put this verse Why? down that he spit. I don't I used, know what, but it I was a write. bro. It was a. I used to write, you know what I'm saying. It was a bad. It was a bad one. I was like, nah, damn. You just love to write. Yeah, I used to have a lot of verses. You know what I'm saying. So it, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was the shit, bro. It so was, what made y'all decide to create this duo though and stay I together? I mean, the people. The people did that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Kevin, they just brought him in because that's he. He just really trying to get rappers. Together, together and, and and do his thing like you know what I'm saying that's his vision he, you know what I'm saying it wasn't it didn't it, I did none of it work out like that's he planned done. like you know he started with K-Rock K-Rock and C-Pone you know what out. I'm saying and uh K-Rock brought me down there just cause he basically really he's staying with me at this time you know what I'm saying he brought me we, we all in the music 
You know what I'm saying? So he brought me down. Now, I'm I'm more behind K Rock and C Pone because that's our rappers in in the hood. You know, I can rap too. I just started though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But they that's who we was behind. You know what I'm saying? They was doing their thing. They introduced me to Kevin. But Mr. Lucci, um, to be called Mister at 15, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what did you think about that when they first came up with that? Well, shit. Um, did he say Mister when he said? When yeah, he, he talked to me. He told me why. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know, I get at the you know Kevin, Kevin, Kevin laced up Mister. You know what I'm saying? K Rock named me Lucci. Cause I used to be, uh, I used to go by Lil J. Okay. You know, my, my government start with a J. Okay. So I'd just be Lil J. And then um, after K Rock heard me rap on the phone, he was just like, What's your name again? He said, He's like, Nah, nigga, your name Lucha. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. I never met K Rock in person. I had only met him. He literally oh. just called me on the phone at my, my mom's them house. You know what I'm saying? But, anyways, um, once he did that, once me and Kevin, when we was uh, going, and uh, cause I even got a verse. I was like Lil Lucci and shit like that. And he was like, uh, Nah, you know what I'm saying? He say, um, You remember that conversation you had with us about that shit when he was talking? I know, I, I don't know, I know. Yeah, we was. I think we was together because he was just like, um, the way he presented us and rolled us out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be little nothing because you're gonna grow up and be a man one day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you have yeah, to understand you and approach you is how you gonna how you how you gonna be and you gonna be you know presidential so right. you know mister but you as, at a young age as you were when he gave you that name mister did that mm -hmm. make you walk in a different you know sometimes you know as you get older and you you watch what well, i watch movies right and they always say be careful of the names that you give your children or you name yourself because mm -hmm. you have to live up to that name did that name mister before your name make you have to walk like with more responsibility? Did it make you feel that way? Fifteen. Nah, At fifteen. Nah, nah, it was me. Yeah, they didn't say nothing to uh Kobe and LeBron when he went to the league. It's at, at eighteen. I just got in the league early in the rap game. Mm -hmm. Because but I was But I, Mr. I was wasn't in front of his name. Yeah. Nobody but, would, you had yeah, older but, people calling you Mr. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, it was know. the era. <laughs> Did it, it was, make you it feel? It was the era then, though, in the misters. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Mike. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we it was, it was kind of in that other Mr. Mr. Big, Mr. B. You know, they call him Mr. B. It was, it was, it was oh, a okay. Mr. thing going on I'm back on, then. I'm on it. I was on Mr. Pookie Club. Mr. My, Mr. My Star daddy, face. Oh, okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My daddy Ooh. used to call me that Mr. Mr. Pookie. Oh, really? You know, and I just. So that's how you got that name. I just used my regular name for one, and then Mr. was just. It was just me, okay, got you it. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. You know, um, when you think about the Ripple Diabolical, like you guys doing those projects, y'all, y'all, were y'all both on both of those projects? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like y'all interchanged. Uh, how was that? Like knowing that you had your own project coming out when it was coming out, how exciting was that to do the you know your first projects? Shit. Mm, me, it was ooh. I, I, you know, I don't say this before. Like I, I wasn't even confident enough. I was like, I knew I could rap. I, I mean, I could rhyme. I could write like a motherfucker. So that's first thing. I, I, I'm, I was good at that. I've been in the music for a while, so I can do. I can dip and dab. I thought I was into it a little bit, but I didn't think I was good enough yet. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of just got into it, like, and, and then rock and pong come through with they is. And they like seasoned, like compared to me during that time, you know. And I was just sitting back, bro. Like, shit, I ain't, I ain't ready yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Kevin, they really got me ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't think I was ready, but he, he kind of got me ready for that and, and pushed me toward, toward that direction. Like, and um. It was shit. It was good, really. It, 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 he showed me everything, recording and formatting. I yeah. didn't know what bars was, what sixteen bars was, but I automatically wrote in sixteen bars. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. Just because I had the timing down of just listening to verses, 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 
I had it down. Every time I finished, it was 16 bars on the, to the T. Didn't know why, I didn't I never knew what a bar was or nothing, but he showed me all that. He showed me it was a format to all that shit and all that, recording and all that. Wow. Yeah. What about you? How, how was it when you first? I was ready. You was ready? I was ready, you know what I mean? Because you gotta keep in mind, uh, like I say, the first thing I ever been in a studio was it was with Pookie, you know. Well, now I'll take it back. I went in the studio once with my partner Brew when I was like 13, mm -hmm. off the side of the Grambling. Shout out Brew, you know what I mean. Oh. But once I was, once I got in with him, I was a, uh, I was motivated. I was inspired to watch it. I watched what his project evolved to, to the looking at the cover, to the album cover, to the to to the putting it out to doing the first video. So I was just like, and then I was watching the, I seen the fame and the love that he got off of the project. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just, I'm, I'm more like how he say he was behind c Pone and K-Rock. I'm behind him. So next. I'm more, I'm more like, I'm just antsy, but I'm not next. That's the thing about it. I wasn't next. I was like, I dad did. Tony Romo got hurt. You got to get in the game. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I had no, expectations of dropping the album. The dude who we talking about, C Pone, his album was actually the, my, the Diabolical album, like a lot of the beats or whatever, where he started with, was already ready for C Pone. Oh. Um, C Pone left with K-Rock left. Mm. And that just left me and Pookie. Mm. So I had to jump in the game and I was ready. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he yeah, said it, was. it was like an opportunity. It was better than the money. It was an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And then I and then I had already got like a um an instant love off of the crook for life verse. That yeah, pretty yeah. much made me household at that point. It's like, oh, yeah, hey, he in high school. Who, who, who this young nigga? Yeah, then I'm in high school. You ate you know on know that home too. How was that being in high school when and, 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 and you and, and you got a hit like that in the city? It did and more, fans. It did more it did more <laughs> for what a motherfucker would thought like cause he in high school. And it's him on the motherfucking track. He could tell yeah. that in high school that who listening to the radio, yeah, I'm on to check us out. And yeah. then it's that, and they look, man, it was it it did, bro. It just a it lot of your like, friends. It was yeah. like the complete gumbo mm -hmm. of, of 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 shit to do, and bro, it was it was perfect. Did you finish yeah. school? Nah, I didn't finish school. I was about to you say you saying? made all that get to your head and you didn't finish. Nah, I actually what's the name? My um, at that point. My senior year, I um, at that point, that's when he had just signed. Uh, we did the thing with uh, ADA, and he had signed. So we was pushing, and um, I was on the road every Friday, and I'd probably come back Monday morning. So I'm at graduation. We done took graduation pictures and everything. You know, I got the program. My wow. girl still had the program with, with, with our names because my, my, my ex-wife, she was her name. My name's Gibson. Her name Giddings. So okay. we were right. sitting next to each other right. in the graduation. You know what I'm talking about. So we were supposed to walk, and then one week before graduation, they come get me out of class and tell me, uh, "Man, you don't have Gibson. enough hours." Yeah, but, but before the failure of your credits, you know, not not failure your credit. You basically fail by um, missing classes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to come back and make it up in the summer and shit. At that time. When the summer hit, it was already over. So you nah, traveling everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, that was <laughs> and at the same time, it was a pride issue. Keep it 100 as an adult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back now as a kid, it's like, I'm already a star. I got people looking at me. And then now I got to go back and go back to school. And at the same time, they was going to switch me to another school, too. I think they were trying to send me to Brian Adams or something. So I'm going to have to go to another school or another spot and then be with the lower classmen who I was just with, then it's like, damn, what you do? You flunk this, 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 which I didn't because I'm, I'm very book smart, you know what I mean? So, but it was my hour, so I was just like, you know what, fuck it, man. This music is is doing what it do, so shit, I just started doing that and we pushed on that. Man, and, and that's dope that, that you, you know, because you never, you, your vision is something else, man. When you understand, you know, you got all these people coming at you, you know you you're a star. You know what I mean. People is wanting to see you. Want to you getting booked, right? Yeah. People want to see you. Yeah, that that album, those albums yeah. actually, man. Like I said, when I look at them, and then you think about how y'all watch Boss Talk. Y'all already know how I am about this. They don't show credibility to stuff that we created. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, that, and I got a problem with that. So when you hear people talking the top five this or the top 45, I automatically I'm turned off by any list that I hear from yeah. up on wherever it come from. It could be on the east or the west coast. And, 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 and we have to create something by ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're not going to give no credibility to those albums, those projects, no matter how many records you sold. Yeah, no matter yeah, what yeah. you've done, they're yeah. going to still treat it like it wasn't even a thing. Like it was the Negro League. Exactly. So yeah. we got to do it for ourselves. So I'll never play those games when you start asking me who the greatest of all time. Yeah. You, and, you, and I it, it'll be messed up for me. And I've gotten calls over some stuff that may have I might have said about, say, uh, Nas mm -hmm. or Jay-Z compared to yeah. a... A uh, 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 Mr. Lucha or Pooja or Boosie or any, I'm being real and they be real, real life calling me trying to convince me not to say this or that and I'd be like, nigga, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm an old nigga who listened to this music yeah. and I was going to not listen at that. I was going to listen to uh, Mr. Mike or Big Mike or something or yeah. Diabolical, you know what I mean? Or the real, I was going to listen to what I wanted to listen to yeah. that was in my deck. So it, it, what I think is my leverage is I was an older nigga so I, you can't come tell me now because yeah. yeah. I really was older and I really was listening at this shit. At the time, yeah. I might have been, when y'all was that age, uh, when y'all did that, I'm, I'm 25, 26. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. really rocking with it. So you can't yeah. come now and massage my mind yeah. and say, no, nah, nigga, no, <laughs> yeah. no, nigga. You know, <laughs> am I right? Nah, so I think that's why I, I love doing this show. It's because I get to play the game of, we somebody, nigga. Yeah. And we in the game and we got podcasts and stuff like this now where we can really tell our stories and, yeah. and show those frustrations that Pimp, that he talked about when he talked about BT and all that stuff and show those frustrations about when, you know, anybody from Bust Down, any of these niggas didn't get the recognition when we was really spinning records down here, right? Yeah. yeah. Am I right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we got to talk about that. You know, I be on it like that. Nah, so what do you, what, what, how, how impactful do you think if you was on the East Coast during that time, how do you think that these albums would have been looked at? That's a good question. Hmm. Like if I was from the East Coast? Or? Yeah, and, and you put out an album that did good as y'all's did. Not to say just that marinated with that that area. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? Out, think about it. First off, we would have um, we would have been considered a biggie or such and such if it resonated like it resonated here number there one you go. because Real this tough. is the mecca of the entertainment business so then we would have been entertained with the mecca of the companies who create this you know what I'm saying because you already know it's all political come on now so we would have been in an area where the politicking is really politicking you know what I mean and so when you're dominating in an area like that they can't annoy you because you're dominating in that area. That's like it was with 50. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Sure was. They tried to block he took him out, over. But he was dominating in the yeah. streets and they had to let him in. You know what I'm talking about? So it would have been one of them type of situations and I feel like it would have been, they would have moved over because they also would have seen the opportunity to make money. Wow, you know and I agree with that 100%. That's yeah. what that's where my mind state be at. Like, So I have to try to figure out a way to make it make sense. For, yeah. You know what I mean? For, hey, man, come on, let's stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, top, <laughs> let's stop playing, man. Yeah, so so you, go ahead. I'm a, I, I know you want to ask something. So I want to know, um, because we're having a duo, it's two different personalities in the team. And not all the time y'all agree on everything unless y'all were just a perfect team. Yeah. So how were your changes and evolutions from the first time you started till now? Because... Y'all had to always, you know, learn how to resolve conflict, move on. And no matter bad times you're having at home, whatever, you still had to go on the stage and perform and put that show on. And up till now, how did it change for you all them years till now? I mean, really, I, I uh, we ain't have conflicts like that on, in that in that era like that. We was so solid on what what we was doing because we we was both on. Not getting fucked around no more. You know what I'm saying? We want to know every motherfucking thing. You know, nigga, now nah, we want to know everything. You know what I'm saying? We want to we want to be in on all that. Now you you kept this from us, this from us, this. Now we want to be in on all that. You know what I'm saying? So we we focused in on on that, bro. And we ain't we we talked on everything. Every decision that was made, it was what you think. What you think? And, and it wasn't just me and him. We got our other little partners that we included in there. Like what y'all think? 
You know what I'm saying? So we our decision was collective after we left that situation. And so we after that we was we was good on those decisions type things. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was dealing with people after that. You feel the same way? Mm-hmm. So about the same same you seen it the same way, like y'all was talking and and trying to figure it out because when you think about Nelly, you know what I mean, and you talk about some of these first guys that talk about them first deals, how they got pretty much done wrong because they didn't understand. This ain't something that's not happened with all of them. When you yeah. talk to them, they mm-hmm. tell you, "Hey, when I did my first Jeez. deal, I got hit for seventy thousand dollars, or I got hit." You know what I mean? They talk, geez, all of them. They talk about it. So you telling me that y'all felt that same impact? It, it was, it was, yeah, I felt it. And and but didn't know really the the whole outcome of what what was what was transpiring because we independent it was different you know what I'm saying on the aspect of being independent and in there yeah, as far as being like them cats they sign they artists they signed got, to they big got, yeah, majors. They got artist deals yeah. signed to y'all big y'all did independent deal yeah, we independent and all the way around so you know what I'm saying this company is independent we independent. Fucking with him on, you know what I'm saying? This is just like a whole different ball game on that. But it, and you, Mr. Lucci? Man, I look at it like um, what I look at it all as uh, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? It, everything happened the way it was supposed to wow. be. Cause, uh, it, Cause it taught it taught me what I needed to see. You know what I mean? And uh, like how, like you say, all the artists was talking about, man, I got hit for this, I got hit for yeah. this, I got hit for that. There's one thing I didn't settle with, and that's why I be at peace. Well, most artists, and this is to younger artists too, to the youth, which I don't understand, and you know, you you look at it as, all right, you got this going, and then you get ripped off for this amount of money, you get did this, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, what you are forgetting, you are the product. You done got this platform. These people had enabled you to give you uh, 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 an endless amount of income if you utilize the opportunity that you done got, because most artists... And it's, it's, it's with anything, the face of how it go. Most artists, most businesses, whatever the Ain't face is. Ain't nobody doing nothing for nothing. It, but but so. still, it's, it's not even my thing. I'm just saying, like, wherever the face is, like, it could be people behind you. Like, the artists right now, there's people still who go to the artists thinking that the artist is going to change. Like, just say, I might go to Lil Baby and be like, nigga, think, man, Lil Baby could change my life, this, this, this. Lil Baby's really not, it's the, it's the bleep machine right. behind them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But... People don't really they know, don't that. know so that. Even with you in your position, they don't know what machines behind you. You may not even have a machine behind mm-hmm. you, but if you got a hustle, you can sell a machine, and then you you could create what they meant for evil and bad into a beautiful, mm-hmm. prosperous situation. You know what I'm saying? I got access. So the second part of that question was, um, over the years, the rap changed. The style of rap. How the deliverance, the 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 audience, everything changed. How were you able to change um, your styles somewhat to to be more relevant in today's society, or are you still can, just doing the same I, old? Just, hold up, can go I ahead. Real, I hey, think. Yeah. Can, can I say this? Look at this. All right. You see how it changed and it evolved and all that type of stuff mm-hmm. like that. Go look at the old photo album of how you looked twenty years ago. The outfit you wore. That hair right. you had. Ooh, I thought I was this shit. I thought I was what da da da. It looks funny now, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But the thing about it was, you were in tune with what was going on the whole time, so you didn't even see the involvement. And like you say, the people change. The people don't change; they grow. They we we, we each other. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So we're growing at the same time in the same moment. You know what I mean? So we're not realizing that shit has changed as much as it's changed until we actually sit still and utilize it and be like, damn, where. Where did it go wrong or where did this happen? But at that time, we have still been evolving with it. So it's not a change. You know what I mean? Because my life is still, like, when you say change, as far as like, okay, I, at first I'm single, I'm doing this, blah, 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 this, this. You were late because we at the same age. Now it's like, you know what, now I got a kid, things different. You know what I mean? I was hustling in the street <coughs> doing this. At that time, we was on the same thing. Now I grew up. 
So now I ain't in the streets doing it no more. So I'm speaking about some other stuff, and you're going through the same life changes mm-hmm. that I'm going through right now. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That's why the fads don't the fads don't don't last. Sorry, just so the changes. style of rapping don't just, change is what you're speaking it's about. The message. That, exactly. That's what changes it's the over message, the year. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The content that you put out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna if if you mm-hmm. do twerk music, you're gonna do twerk music for the rest of your life. I mean, if this is what you do. Every time you put yeah. them out, that's what it's gonna be. You make feel good music. You know what I mean? If yeah. you're a different type of, if you're a, a, a look at Zero. Zero has not changed. He's been an asshole <laughs> by nature. No, I'm just saying he's Trey. been that. He's Isn't been him? that yeah. since you first heard him to where you hear him now. You know what I'm saying? And he stayed true to that. And there is also people. He's evolved in the situations that he's asshole about. You know what I mean? He ain't the same person he used to be. But he's still him right now. You understand what I'm saying, Mr. When, when you say that, I, the power of words, Man. the power of names, Man. the power, this, it influences you so much. Yeah, I think uh, Tupac. If I die tonight, I'm doing. I see death around the corner. Yeah. Gotta stay high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the city where the skinny nigga died, you keep. Mm-hmm. And then life after death, and then all that stuff. That was yeah. a phase that you guys didn't get caught up in that phase. But I believe the words are powerful, and I believe that they cause things to happen. Mm-hmm. I, I think people speak a lot of things into, into existence. Yeah. yeah. What do you I, think? How, that, that, I, that's, that's I, that's I talked exactly, to Darrell about that's that. Exactly yeah. what, it, what it is. I know it is. Power of the tongue. What you yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why I said that song. Everybody want to rap, but they don't understand mm-hmm. the gift. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hit them with it, little bro. Hit them that's with it. That's real talk. Yeah, the power of the tongue, man. Shit, you you speak your you speak yourself into millions, or you speak yourself into the grave in a heartbeat. That's say that they don't the understand it's the proven. gift. It's proven. You yeah. What you back. mean by that? You gonna look uh, back at, at it uh, ever since, and it's, it's there. In my opinion, this is me speaking. The gift when you have a when you are given a voice, mm-hmm. your voice is to empower and to motivate, encourage, inspire, help, love. You know what I'm saying? The message is supposed to grow, teach. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it mean, it, it could, it don't, I ain't saying you got to make preacher projects or nothing, but what you put out there, if I'm going to listen to this album for an hour, grows, let it, me at least baby. come out of this with something, with something. that grows can help something. my grows life. Something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Instead of push me backwards. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Grow something. Now, when you get out there and you start putting out that shit that push you backwards, you know what I mean? You ain't just pushing them backwards, you pushing yourself backwards. You know what I'm saying? You creating a monster that's gonna rob you one day when you step out your car. But you got to think about this. When I think about rappers, they say that a lot of um, their raps are therapy, and I think this is more of the younger kids too. Cause you know when you get mad, somebody, your baby mama just made you mad, or this guy just whatever they said something. I gotta go clap back. I'm gonna go on here and they just let it out. This therapy that I'm just gonna let it all out. They're not caring about um, motivating anybody. They're not caring about encouraging nobody yeah, they, all they care they about fall is into, they fall into the sense of you know how it, how it is like and and no nobody get this more than a, a, a cat that's in jail type shit mm-hmm. like like you going through your situation i'm gonna talk about it you i'm gonna mad. talk about it only thing make you give you a little bit comfort in right then is that person next to you telling it to feeling you on what he what you just talking about, or what somebody who been about? through yeah, what you bro, you going yeah. through? You know what I'm saying? Somebody, yeah, exactly, that, right. exactly. That been through what you been because nothing new under the sun. You, it's it's yeah. like man, yeah. somebody on my level too. Right. Somebody know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking. about. They feel it too. It's how it, it be like that. It be like that. That you need that that, that confirmation of somebody else going through it too. Mm-hmm. No. Also, you gotta keep in mind you ain't you ain't got you ain't got too many. Um, nah, I'm basically just saying like you say how they how they get out there and they vent and they do that. Mm-hmm. Some keep in mind we, people don't even know how to really share their emotions and talk to nobody. You know what I'm talking about? All right, they, they getting on there doing that tough stuff. When but when that mic go off and they sit in that car by themselves, they by so themselves. scared, terrified because they like I done put myself in a position. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. And I feel I don't want to have to do this, but I feel I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? No, I definitely get it. When so the, when the like, homies ain't around. Yeah. yeah when nah, the, you, know, what, you all on there doing all that with them partners around, but when the partners ain't around and that situation real mm-hmm. for you, right, right there, you just by yourself. 
when when you guys first got together, you know, y'all didn't y- y'all didn't say we about, we about to be a group. It just happened that way, like you said. The people, yeah, the, people the people did that. Like K- Kevin A, I think was just was just gathering rappers and trying to yeah, yeah, like do his vision. His yeah, he wanted, he wanted his own artist. And I say that because when you look at duos like 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 UGK, you know, Bun B and Pimp C. Uh, MJG and Eight Ball, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a big boy and yeah. and, and uh, uh, Dan Lee Three Thousand. You know when you start to see all of these things happen, and and when you start to to, to see all of these groups, did, what did y'all think about yourselves? You know what I'm saying? For as how how did y'all did y'all think about that any or y'all didn't even think about it? I always, you know, I'm, you know, because y'all, y'all it, I'm it is super, what it is. I'm a super A Ball MJG. Fan, super fan, you know that them them my boys like. That's why you get along with Low Deezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm a UGK fanatic. That's my boy too. Well, I used to rip saying? him up on here. He, you know he quit saying? calling me now because <laughs> you know I'm UGK back over here. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like you know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Bumby. I don't want to hear nothing else I, but Bumby and PMC. That's you know just what me. Though. I'm old. Nah, I'm I'm old. But 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 you know, Bond and Pim were more on the the hustle side. Yeah, and, and I was more on the life side. That's why Ball and JG was more, more. I, I took more, you know, more yeah, to them yeah. like that. And it was, it was just, just that that content, bro. Just did everything for me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and, and, yeah. And the, the mixture of all that. But I bought both of them, nigga. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Both of them was in oh, there. Yeah. I had them in the car. Oh, when yeah. I went to, when he came out with one, if MJG and Eight Ball, uh, uh, all them niggas when they drop, uh, any of them niggas over there, South oh, Circle, Tila, 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 oh, any of them, <laughs> anything in the South, Mr. Mike, Mr. Mike, yeah. I'm buying. It. I'm a big Mr. Mike fan, so yeah. but I'm buying it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I'm over there. If y'all's come out, nigga. I'm going over there and get that. You know, I gotta get that. You know, I'm talking to Kevin A during that time, like so. I'm getting the, the albums before they even come out. I got Tila. <laughs> For, for it came out, you had it before it came out. You know out. what I'm saying? And he know, he know I'm a MJG guru. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 a ball MJG. That's my, but JG is my. That's that's who I take to. Her. That's that's my that's my dude. Who is that? MJG. MJG. Oh, MJG. Yeah, cause he, cause that's, he, that's my don't bro, make me. Man. And you like bro, that? That's my boy. And, nigga, and, you know and, that and, nigga. And, and, and they know me. Listen, let me say and this. Tila he come did out. his thing. T- he, Tila's like the protege of MJG. Tila was I'm cool. Tila. But when I'm you Tila. see Pim come out and he start playing with them beats, I, man. I, I know. I know. Stop playing. I know. When you see I him know. rap and he made the I beat know. and he I just know. bun come on him and usher in like this. I know. I know but say, man, it, don't play with that, man. It's, it's all say, let me to, see it, nigga. I know. Y'all don't play with I mean, me, I mean, man. Hey, man. It. Ain't nobody got no song like Quit Hating the South, period. That I, repped us so hard. Yeah. Who else got one? Yeah. <laughs> I like this yeah. one. I love hey, it. Um, hey, man. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> But I know that all of it's needed. Because I told niggas the other night when I was at that Master P concert, when that nigga stood back behind there and you had them at that whole damn auditorium full and they couldn't see him, and that nigga said, oh, them folk went crazy, bro. All that goddamn camera. That's all he had to say. They I, they remember that. Just like when y'all say whatever. Y'all can come out and say, I'm a, you know, y'all start y'all song. Man, them niggas going to go crazy because they love you, bro. Yep. They, they love they, y'all. They got them, them lines. Them lines. It's the tonalities and the things y'all did that sticks with your fans, and it ain't going no. You see that boy just left here, get it I, blue. I, I, that I, nigga I, fan, I know, nigga. I know exactly. Yeah. I know yeah. exactly what he talking about because I did the same thing with Eight Ball MJG, Bone Thugs and Harmony, <laughs> Spice One, MC Eight. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, bro, I know exactly what. That's why I, 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 I don't take that lightly, bro. Wow. I don't take that lightly. And as soon as I see, I know I recognize it off top, and I embrace it to the fullest. You did. Because I, I know what that is. I wow. know what that is, bro. I wow. know what that do. I know that, that, that feeling that give you, bro, I know it. I'm and why I you got you. I'm phone call away immediately. Yeah, it's yeah, real. I, yeah, yeah. I want to ask you something, though. Let's talk about you going to prison. Let's go back there. And you being out here after all them years and, and having to, you know, go do that stint, how much did it affect y'all relationship? Which I know it did, but, and how did y'all pull it all back together? No. Let Lucy go ahead. You go? <laughs> Let Lucy yeah. go first. Nah, Because he wasn't like, the one in prison. He was gone for yeah. four years. <laughs> what, four years? Yeah. I was the name, though, man. I, um, 
to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I went on preach, you know, when I got locked up and I I got uh, got out on my little uh, PR bun and I had a year, you know what I'm saying? Like, before that, me and bro, you know what I'm saying? We, we weren't. We weren't together every day, you know what I'm saying? Because I was doing some other shit, you know what I'm talking about, that he wasn't involved in, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, alcoholics ain't going to be with weed smokers all the time, or cigarette smokers, you know, it's, That's it's, just, it's just how it is, you know? And I was just on a different path at that time. So at that moment in life, once I got locked up and I seen how everything happened, you know, you know, I was speaking to bro, and then um, I fuck around, and um, I just stopped talking to everybody. My first, my last year before I went in, I was just in the house with my family, you know, and, and that was it, plain and simple, because not knowing what I'm finna face, what I'm finna do. And then when I went to jail, I was already isolated before I went in to where I stayed isolated. So it made you more out. isolated. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, know, I didn't talk to bro while I was locked up. You so know what for I'm saying? four years, you didn't even talk to it at all? Nah, I mean, messages through baby mama or something like that, but not like, me and bro on the phone with each other, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't, we ain't chopping like that. And did you understand that that was what he was doing, <coughs> or you, he just fell off? And did you try to reach out to him? I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm the when he on the phone with his wife. She, the, her, her, his wife and my wife is like this. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was, we was at that point, bro. It was just like. The shit that was going on, we had too many people in a, in between us on shit that that clouded shit. Like you know what I'm saying, and, and I just took it took it for what it was. You know, I'm 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 her, no matter what, bro. I'm at the end of the day, I'm gonna be her. I'm your nigga, no matter what. Yeah, no matter what on none of this. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody. I ain't gonna let nobody hurt you on no nothing. No. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing like that. I ain't gonna let none of you know what I'm saying. It's just, it is what it is with me. But but the, the times then we had shit clouded and shit, you know, situations going. People in the in the midst of like albums came out that I didn't even know about. He ain't know about that like, we came to came to light on. Like I ain't know shit shit had happened. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't know shit had happened. I had to figure out certain shit. So it, it was just, bro, like. I was still there at the end of the day, but I understood how shit was. You were, did, you, as far as I know, your mother and all the stuff that happened, like um, that affected you a lot. You know what I mean? And I know you were going through that. And then with the missing of him, because you felt like, yeah, that was, how did that? How did you? How was you able to keep it together? Because I know I remember me and you talk. You was going painting the the, the tombstone at your yeah. mom's grave all the time. And in my in my view, I didn't keep it together. <laughs> in my view, I didn't. I, I don't like. I got people who be like, "Bro, you strong." I ain't know you, you. 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 I. I don't. I ain't understand that because I felt I broke down all the way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, "Shit, I don't know what you. What don't you? Know how you strong do. you talking about? What you saw? But right. I was. I was fucked up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That really took me out of there, bro. Really. Wow. Really took me out of that. And did you ever think about the fact that how much mentally he had faced with dealing with that as well? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I thought about I thought about all that. I mean, I was here when bro lost his mom. Shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I was right there when they called, bro. This to happen. You know, months is called. That's how I found out. Wow. Say, bro, he going to go kill his dad, bro. The nigga just did this. Called him, bro. He ain't answering for nobody. Called him. You know what I'm saying? And I called him. He answered for me. You know what I'm saying? And you were uh, able to walk him off the ledge? It wasn't even just walking it, it, him off the ledge. You know what? You know I'm going to tell you how that you can, it's, it's, you, you can see it. It's on first 48 and everything. Like, my, my mama's story at all. Like, really? It was they, on when, there? When they, when they, when you see the police come up and find her car, like, I was there. Wow. Mm. Sitting back four, probably 400 yards away. I found my mama's car already. I was already out there waiting, smoking. Pistol, waiting to see, you know what I'm saying. Like, come they, back. Come, it's, it's up, it's up. Now this your father, your it biological my, father. Yeah, and I love my daddy like I love my mama, bro. It's, it's it was for people that don't know. I, I, I ain't go through the my father. I ain't, he was I there for yeah, you. yeah. I, I mean, not even just that. I just knew my father, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. Knew who he was. Knew what's up. I loved him like I love my mama. It was the same. 
but the bus shit, it was. Yeah, everything was thrown at that point for you to for your father to to kill your mother and for you to be able to even you know talk to him at that time. That's a big step, bro. Mm -hmm. That's how I know y'all real tight. You know what I mean? Like brothers, you gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing more deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you see the law swoop in on and I was there. I was there. I so was they there. caught was, him, right? They, they, yeah, they caught him. They, they ain't catch him right then, but they caught him. They found a car, and and, uh, and I'd already found a car. Right. I was already done found it, sitting back, posted. Trying to it wasn't crying. meant for you to catch him. It, it had to be, because because you wouldn't be. I was be. in that mode. I was in that yeah. mode. Man. Yeah. How did you feel once they caught him? Were you still mad? Like you wish that you had caught him? Of yeah. course. Mm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's a blow, bro. My mama was my best friend. Right. You know, she know everything about me. She knew it, it, my whole how I am. It's just it's because of her. You know what I'm saying? So it was a blow. I tell everybody, live in the memories because that's the reason why we're, as long as you breathe and make as many memories as you can with the ones you love. That's with your, you your kids, yeah, that's your all you family. Got at the end of the day. Cause there's no day promise. You can walk out of here and that's it. That's it. And the one thing you're gonna leave with your family members is memories. Money that's is it. fine, that's but it. they always end up fighting over that and going crazy anyway over the money and stuff like that. It's memories and instilling value into your kids and your loved ones. Real talk. A story so they can go back and tell people. That's how your name live on. Real oh, real you remember talk. when real Mr. Talk. Pookie he used to talk about this? This is what he taught me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he tell it. They tell it to their kids and their grandkids. Yeah. You see what I mean? Just ain't nothing like losing a mother. I lost my mother, so I can only imagine how tragic that was. And it was Man. a sudden deal, you know. Um, you just you you ha you'll never fill that spot. Mm -hmm. That void will always be empty. To just imagine uh -huh. like you will never be able to talk to her again. Like, That's right. That's it. That's it. It's gone. It's just, it's just like damn. Really? Her voice, none of this is gone. It gone. You had any siblings? Yeah. How many brothers? I, I got one brother and two sisters. Did you guys talk about it or? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, uh, it was, it was super, super sensitive, bro. Cause like my dad was a drug addict, and my and my, my sister selling drugs, and and, and it's just all in the midst of, of that. And me getting my mama and my daddy back together, period. And she left him because of that. You know what I'm saying? And bro, it's just. Did you blame uh, yourself? Somewhat. Yeah, because when you said I didn't know that. Together, you know what I'm saying? When I dropped the Rippler, bro, right after I dropped the Rippler, my mama and I got my mama and daddy back together. Wow. Real talk. Because I can imagine someone feeling that way after. I always that. wanted to know where my daddy was. I ain't hadn't heard from him. I was with him when he went to jail. Yeah. I'm staying with him, you know what I'm saying? I left my mama, <laughs> went mm. stayed with my daddy, and was there when they came and got him, you know what I'm saying? But I never knew where he was. I hadn't talked to him since then. I was like, Mom, where my daddy? You got his address? And she got it, sent it to me. I wrote him. We've been talking back and forth, and I always wanted that them together. Mm. So I pissed it. <laughs> he said, tell her, tell her to write me. And I told her she wrote him, and that ever since then they got back together. It was phew. you felt good I, about I, it. Yeah, time. I, so I lead her, lead her home, so they can just do their thing, you know. But my sister and them, that shit was just crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah. You know, and, and like I said, for you to make it through and still be here, you got kids, and you know what she would want. That's that's the stuff that I've fed off of to keep going when I lost oh, my yeah. mom was the fact that I had my kids and I had responsibility and I knew what she would want me to do. That's what made me, you know, go hard and go yeah, farther. That's it. That's mm -hmm. all. That's all you got. I mean, you and you got to anyway. Like you got no choice. Yeah, I want to. I want to go back to you, uh, Miss Lucci. Like speaking of. You know, I know what it is to be locked up. Like for you to be gone for all those years from your boys like that, how much did that? How much did that hurt you to have to deal with that? And 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 how did you get through it? You know, shit, it killed me. You know, it killed me. But you know, um, shit happens. I had to, I had to deal with. It. I had to learn how to overcome it. That's the one thing I loved about prison. It taught me, nigga, how to sight out of mind, home regardless. 
Out of sight, out of mind, man. Or not. Life gonna move on. So, but the thing about it is, you can't worry about it. You can't. You can't. Um, like we was talking about earlier, you can't have them controlling your mind. That's you right. Gotta learn to be in your lane and understand. You know what I mean? I know. I pray hard. I know my kids. I know. I I, 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 I pray and I feel like God is walking with my kids. They was with me from the first day they was born till I left. And then since I like, I got two of them at the house right now waiting on me. You know, but like. I just feel like I put him in his hands. You know what I'm saying? I was in college for a moment. I just had to do what I had to do. And shit, um, like, of course, it hurt me when they come visit me and stuff like that. You know, it break me hard. But I'm seeing them getting bigger. I'm watching them. You know, you ain't never raised your kids, your, your kids through mail. It's different. You know what That's I'm right. saying? That's right. But let me tell you something. was real, though. You know? I used to pray a lot about it and doing that. So now I do get to come home. I get home, I be able to see my oldest son walk across the stage and graduate. Wow. I be able to take my oldest son to get his driver license, teach Come him on. how to drive, get a driver license. Last week, um, last year, I got to watch my second oldest son graduate and go over my first one. I also got to take him to college. You know what I'm saying? That he, wow. he wanted to go to Kansas State. Nobody wanted him to leave. His mom and his family didn't want him to leave because they like, we want you close. This is your first time going to college. You ain't never lived alone. That's too far away, and we ain't got no family around. And he talking to me. And he like, Daddy, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, son, it's your life. It's your dream. I had the same thing with me and, with me and Granny when I was doing music. I lived in Chicago. I said, fuck that. I took a buddy pass that we used to have because she worked for the airlines. Mm-hmm. I had buddy pants, st- standing by tickets. Rolled myself a ticket. Came down here, didn't go back. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. I'm now I'm here sitting talking to you, wow. my son. I took him, packed him up in my car, drove him up there, unloaded him. He stayed. You Ain't know what no I'm talking about? That, now he, because he wanted to be a chef, like he liked to cook, yeah, like me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So he was like, he wanted to go and be food science. So he went up there. He said he wanted to learn how the food's grown, everything that we cook, and he want to know everything about it. Two years later, he done stayed up there, worked himself up. Now, right now, uh, I just got a phone. He, they got him in an internship uh, for Lando Lakes. You know what I mean? He wow. done worked himself to the position where he know uh, they're training him to be one of the ones that go to his factories to make sure mm-hmm. that everything is, all the shit is up to point, Man. up to this. He knows how blessing. to, all that shit for him and bro. shit. So he up there, you know, loving life. Last year, I got to watch my second oldest walk across stage. You know what I mean? Yesterday, I took him to get his driver license. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. So it's like I'm still there to be able to make him help. You know, like my son, he loved to bake cookies. I bought him a cookie, uh, like an oven inside of my kitchen at my restaurant. So now I help him sell cookies, and he pumped the shit out of him, the cookie kid. You know, if y'all wow. know. Yeah, wow. yeah, so we are like, out. <laughs> I'm there. I came back when they are being men. Because when I left, they were still boys. When I came back, they all men. So it was like I look at how God did it. He had his mama there just long, just long enough to keep it straight till I came home. Because once I came home, that's when they start ready to be about life. Yeah, yeah. And I was there. So I'm glad that I was there to where I got them now, where they're not, these niggas ain't banging. You know what I'm saying? They in college. They working. They doing all these other type of things. You know, they still kids, but they mindset different. That's they dope. ain't trying to hustle. They ain't trying that's to do tough. this. Not like so, how you were around yeah, that like age. Was, so I'm glad that I was there to see it. Right. And then they seen me come home with nothing and work. Like, they was. They thought when I came home that it was going to be like this. You know, like I'm around 24-7. I love you to death, but how my plan is wrote, I can't sit here and cuddle with you all day. Or otherwise, I'm going to be sitting here cuddling for the rest of my life. I gotta leave again, except I'm not leaving out out, out of your life. But I'm finna, I'm at work. You told you know him this? Saying? Yeah, I talked to him. This is why I work. This is why I don't see you. And then when I when I had him in the kitchen with me last night, like I showing him how to cook and like, cause I I hired him they to be able to do it. some stuff. And I'm like, you see how this take? You know what I mean? See, they see how up? many hours I gotta do. I took him through the whole day. I'm up there 13 hours. They steady asking, when can I go home? Nah, bro. This, this is what we do. This is oh, what like I me. do to get that so stuff. Like you got to clean when everybody They want to go play you games. You got to wait for everybody yeah. to leave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Uh-uh. So I'm showing them how to work. Because one thing I'm teaching them, I'm, I pay them too. Of course. And then one of my sons say, man, $10 ain't hour ain't enough. You know what I mean? So what I end up telling That's more than a minimum wage. Come on, man. What I end up telling this boy, I said, peep this. And I'm going to tell you this. 
I'm trying to show you something different because if you want to work for $5 an hour, you want to work for $500 an hour. That's right. It's the work ethic inside of what you do. It don't matter. So even, even it's the same thing with the music. You know what I mean? If you're not having motion and traction and doing the things that you need to do right now, it's not going to change when you get a deal because it, then it's going to get to the point to where you're going to have to ha have people trying to force you to do this itinerary. Trying to motivate you. Yeah, then it's going to be like, oh, this is overwhelming and all this other mm -hmm. type of stuff. No, because you weren't. Bro, you cannot get out of bed and go play in the NFL. <laughs> You ain't mm -hmm. trained. <laughs> your body, your muscles That's ain't real. ready. So you have to train your work ethic, your mind. You know what I mean? Like right now, mm -hmm. bro, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. I this, is, this is just what it has to be until yeah. it don't have to be. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Because I know what I got to do. So you got to learn. Man, that's dope. What, what, I like it. What yeah, did? Pal. How did prison change you? Because I know that when you go in, you see stuff that you've never seen before. You've been in situations you've never been in before. You have to put on, from what I understand, this this facade so nobody don't test you type of thing. But how did that change you as a man? Those are the ones who get tested. What you just said, facade. Leave the facade at the door. Because one thing you can't do, you can fake it here. You can go pop up at this club and do this on Saturday and never see these people for another two months. I can come through here and boss talk and play a little game and never come back and talk to y'all. But in there, you're seeing these people 24-7, 365. So eventually they gonna see, they gonna see the weak. They gonna see the weak link, they gonna see this, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like life, man. There is bullshit people in jail and there is bullshit people in, out here in the free world. That's but real. there are good people in there at the same time, you know? So it is about just how you carry yourself as a person. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it taught me, uh, taught me cleanliness as far as myself, taught me about my health, you know? And it taught me um, how much time is in a day. And then it also taught me I'm in there working for these people for three cents an hour. I can't get out here and, and do a job for ten dollars an hour. What type of shit is that? Slavery. You know? And I look at people and they be like, man, you tripping, bro. Uh, like they fuck with me, man. You tripping, bro. You be back there serving drinks and bartending and cooking the food yourself, man. You, you know where to be I came boss. from, boy. Man, what do you think about this? <laughs> they tell you that? Yeah, they tell me that. You know what I'm saying? I even had niggas tell me. I can open my phone, and show you test message. I got people telling me, hey, bro. I think you at the restaurant all the time and at the club, bro, is uh holding you back from seeing your full potential. You know what I'm talking about? But they they so Real stuck on, on what you know Real what I mean. Talk, but man. that's the problem with people nowadays. They so worried about what people perceive of them instead of completing the mission. You know what I'm saying? You worried about you something here, I ain't worried about. Yeah, like if you were here <laughs> actually it. doing something, like if you on Iron Chef and you, or, or you working and you doing this, but you so worried about your nails and you trying to walk pretty <laughs> and shit, you are not going to get the job done. Or if you do get it done, it's going to take you 10 times longer than what it was supposed to. Stay focused, keep tunnel vision, Get done what you need to get done. And then after that, you can sit back and do whatever you want to do. What's the name of the restaurant? Yeah, I was about to uh, ask. Crook Kitchen. Crook Kitchen, baby. Crook Kitchen. Where is Where it located? located? It's, it's in uh, North Dallas on 75 and Beltline. How long you've had it? This yeah, how long you've yeah. had it? Uh, about a year. About a year and a half. You know, uh, me and my uh, me and my partner, Stack Mode, we had uh, bought into the Dive on 75 with our other partner, you know. It's called Dive and, on uh, 75, baby. Is it just a come restaurant through. or no, is it a it's club? It's a bar and grill. Bar and grill. Bar and grill. Yeah, it's a bar and grill hookah lounge. You know, we uh They get good food. Yeah, you get the good food, you know, you get the good food. You door dash, you do all that, you know, we get the good food, you know. But Okay. That's, so that's, do you do like you have a stage where you can do performances there yeah, too? Yeah, you have a stage you can do performances, um, karaoke, you know, we got some we got some nice things over there, you know. Are you always cooking in there? Always uh, in there, man. Am I always cooking? Nah, I'm actually at the point now where I actually done hired a cook. Okay. I do do a lot of the cooking if I need to, but at the same time, I hire the cook. What's on that menu? Yeah, get? I was about All to right, say. So you know, I'm hungry yeah. right now. Hey, fire, man. man. I'm telling <laughs> you. We, we, the famous, uh, famous thing we got, what well, most people get, is our uh, hot honey, our hot honey wings. You know, yeah. the hot honey wings. We got uh, burgers. We got catfish. You know what I mean? Is the catfish hard and crispy? It's, it's just like it's supposed to be. Like it's, it's supposed, like to, it's be. supposed to be. Not too salty. Yeah. 
it's like it's supposed to be. You know <laughs> so we critics now, okay? I come so on, we in. come over there. Come on, in. We waiting on you. You been trying to get me over. I'm you going. Know what I'm saying? Well, I never heard about it. Night? Yeah, I'm going right now. You know what I'm okay, saying? We gonna okay, go we gonna go over there tonight. When we leave here, yeah, we going over there right there. I'm gonna follow you. Well, I gotta stop for one we second. We gonna have to pack up the stuff. But I'm coming. I'm I'm tonight is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I be gonna get the fish and I'm gonna get the wings. Let me see. You yeah. never hold that again. You still calling me. You understand? I we didn't know nothing stuff. about yeah. it. You didn't, she didn't know. I, I ain't didn't know, know about, about it. it. I ain't telling her nothing. I'm really focused on all the stuff I got going on. Yeah, but yeah, tonight yeah. I got yeah. a break and I'm hungry, so it's, it's the perfect. No night. Jamaican food in there. No Jamaican not food. Not yet. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. It's everything in so. progress. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm a blogger too. I'm gonna bring my little camera. I'm gonna go down through there tonight, yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna salad, add this into this video. Salad, so whatever salad. we do there tonight, hey, we gonna tell. put that in this yeah. video. It's gonna so, pop in of us being come on with at, the, it, at the spot. Come on, hey, you tell Big Daddies they might have to come with it, man. Right you know, chicken salad that good. Hey, chicken salad, Big Daddies, man. You know what I'm saying? The wings of food, though. I'm telling you, love the wings. Everything on the menu right now is. The food. I, I like I'm I'm a buffalo, but the me honey too. buffalo changed the game for me. Real talk. Like the, this a honey buffalo, y'all ain't tasted before. Like I know y'all might get the, the sweet and sour, the the, the the honey barbecue type. Check this out, man. Real talk. Y'all check it out. I'm that's all I'm gonna say. Let me tell Come you what you need to, to the dive on 75, yeah. to Crook's Kitchen, and check out them wings, man. And the fish and the burgers. On the fish, come check us, come check if us you out, haven't man. started doing it yet, you because he loved it when we went to California. Yeah, it's some lemon pepper catfish. I do. Yeah, you, you have I, lemon I, pepper I, catfish. My, my boy got the flavor catfish, catfish and everything. I got the hot honey. I got. Well, I can make the catfish however whatever. Whatever the I, wings I, I is, he can make the catfish the same way. My boy, whatever the wings is, he can make the catfish the same way. My boy, come to minutes. Put me on that lemon pepper lemon catfish, catfish in yeah. up in LA. I, I was in a Long Beach, and he put me on. And, and he, he was to blown the away. That's the I first say, time man, having it. I've been what what I've been doing, man. This yeah. thing went down through there, <laughs> you, gotta hit the you know. Wave on it. And and that's what I'm saying, man. I'm I'm so happy about tonight. You know, I, I went to that one, but I like it when you got it in that old styrofoam. I'm an old school nigga, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm old, I'm gonna get mine like to go. Pop he don't like the pretty white up. plates yeah. and no, all I don't that. like the pretty white <laughs> plates. I don't want none of that. You I want that old styrofoam where you have to keep it down. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. You, get, yeah, man. you, you need to season ones that know what's up though, so they they put the holes in it so it can. Vent Come through. on, man. It can vent Come through. Come on, man. So your shit yeah. won't be soft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Your shit can be still crispy. I, I'm proud with yeah, you. I was, I'm proud of you, of, of Lucho, uh, to see him doing that and to come over there and eat and hang out. Oh, how, yeah. Bro. How big was that, man, oh, for yeah. you? Bro, it's... It, everything he do is, is it really always successful, bro. It's just always how long he keep it going. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's always been like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know what he do. So I'm always straight up for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got some new music out, man. Let's talk about this new music a little bit. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man. Yeah, man. Y'all uh, playing. Y'all check it out, man. It's called Reality Check. I dropped it the other day, man. So, yeah. Uh, song with a visual, man. You can download it on all platforms and watch it on YouTube. But yeah, uh, what shit, is it man. about reality check? A reality check in life, you know. I got, I got, I got a format I'm finna do when I drop this music. It's triple D. Give me go. a verse. This is triple D. A go. Verse, right verse, right verse, yeah, I want to hear a, like the back right. part that I'm like, I like, want to relate uh, to some. Hey, anyone could touch a pole. Yeah, but can you touch a nigga soul? Can you teach him how to grow? Can you motivate his goals? Can you tell him where to go? When a nigga feeling lost and he finna crash out, you gonna push him in that fire? You gonna pull his ass out? Or you gonna throw them rocks and sit inside that glass house and then play a victim when them niggas spaz out? Where your head? Where you living at? Hey, shit, I know where you from, but how you giving back? Hey, look, we all on board time. How you spending that? Hey, everybody dying around. We winning that. It's like the music done with none. Where the feelings at? Man, I like stop that. playing, man. 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 <laughs> Stop playing, man. Yeah, like Stop listen it. to that and look in the mirror, like for real. Wow. And that's actually, if you look at the video, you know the concept of it. It's looking Go in the check mirror, it out, man. like I got, check. I got, yeah. I'm talking to myself. 
Yeah. Wow, that's Keep hard, man. You know, so yeah. I got my son in it, the one that got the, the Project Motion clothes. Yeah. He's he's uh he's playing the person that I'm talking to, but I'm talking. But that's to him. your younger self. Yeah, my younger self, and got I'm it. talking to me. Yeah, you, know, you know, so I'm talking to him, and I'm talking to me, and I'm just talking to the world. Period, like a reality check for all of us. You know, it's like it, it's just a correction how I feel like it is like. What's really going on right now, you know, from the social media to the life to what everybody is promoting as what's right to what they promote was wrong, you know, like it's like it's a whole lot of boxes getting put around us. You yeah, know? yeah. And it's like, man, come on, understand what what we doing to each other. Do you like, ever talk to your to kids though? Because then when I say talk to your kids, you know how we as we get older, we look at some things that people are doing now. I'm like, oh, that's whack. That's crazy. That's whatever. But when you talk to your kids about what's going on, mm -hmm. it's like, what are you talking about? That's life. That's that's regular stuff to them. They've accepted because that's yeah. what they grew up in. But we as older, we knew what it was. So we look at it as like it shouldn't be like that. No. Is I, it OK for them to accept that yes. as a norm? Yes. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, it, it is because that's that is the norm in a mm. generation right now. Just like when me and Pookie right. came out with Crook for Life and shit, you know what I'm saying? They were like, y'all tripping, blah, 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 but that was norm to us. But to our older generation, it was like they these was, little niggas tripping. They were tripping on that Crook for Life. Yeah, yeah, or just gangster shit coming out of the Basically. north. You know what I'm saying? We thugging. We we got Crook for Life, and then we got If I Have To. Well, we talking about jacking and all yeah. other type of shit. So, it, yeah, it was like, man, it was just like how we looking at the young ones, but this is different stuff. Well, all all our job acronym. is to do is, as the uh, adults and the parents, like you say, I talk to my son, is to give him the information and talk to him and they let got him a 50, know 50 what's going on. You know what I mean? They got and It's on them at the end of the day. They go, they go this way or that way. That's all we, we supposed to do is what he just said. Give him that information. information. Y'all got to do me a big favor. You can't, you can't, after that, you can't do, it ain't up to you. What you need, what, what what most of us need to do is just know after that point where you teach them the right and the wrong, it ain't up to you no more. Man. They got a fifty fifty chance on what they decide after that, bro. It's it's, but all you got to do is know it's a fifty fifty chance. Man. So they's gonna be this way or that way, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can go either way at any time. You just gotta be there when it's there when it happens, man. Be there when it happens. You know what I'm saying? That's right, Mr. Real Cooper, talk, man. bro. I want you to do me a favor. On that Crook for Life, give me eight bars a piece off that. The first part of it. I'ma jump it off. Straight up ripping. Pop my clipping. Best be word to the nigga that's tripping. Over there, I think I see him finna get him. Fuck who came with him. Nigga, stay in your place. I don't know who was spraying the mace, but I bet you motherfuckers better move before I get in the mood and what? Straight act the fool. Pass me, fool. You niggas can't hold us. Continue with throwing these boulders. Man. Hey, man. <laughs> that went hard, man. That break back to the <laughs> <laughs> what, What's up, Mr. Lucci? I can't say my shit is screw. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, hey. it's faster. I was shitting. I was only get thrown in the zone. Look, you ready for the real shit? No shit, man, that a piss shit, but the trish shit. But you grill quick when a nigga want to score shit. Send on my grind on the split shit. So what's the deal, bitch? It's the drill shit till you can't feel shit. But bookers, I'm a steel kid. Working, I'm a kill kid. Niggas falling down like I'm taking a shit. Grab my weeds, but the feel quick. And I'm a tilt it, lift it, twist it in the bus mode. I'm in the grinning nigga love the show. Followed by a new pro. Cloud nine high is the crook flow. Creasing my jean with the low spoke. Glock toe, no joke. Crook cloak. I'm a chest for the wrist. The scene, the best fit of test. Turn the chest in the mess around up a pyramid. cops in. The press release. Man, that's stop right. playing, man. Oh, man. That's Boy, that nigga just go away, man. That one y'all got me going, man. So, like, and how long did it take you to write that, man? You, y'all just was yeah. writing on another level at a young age. Mine was thinking back then. Yeah, I bro. That that the, 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 the day, the 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 just the pressure of this little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Spin, 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 <laughs> spin what he gonna spit on the motherfucking song. It's like, nigga, you better not let this little nigga come <laughs> show you, you up are. like this little nigga. Uh -huh. I already know from the first verse I heard, like I told you, I was like, God damn. <laughs> that young nigga crazy. The verse ain't come out, though. Yeah, 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 but you heard but, it. But it was, it, it could have been on something. Yeah. 
I couldn't follow the bitch. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't follow it. I then I wasn't seasoned. I couldn't. I couldn't do it, bro. I Man, I, you know, you know that's who, why. That's why you don't hear that verse right now. I'm gonna go and say it. <laughs> I'm gonna go and say it. He said I couldn't come by that nigga. I couldn't follow him, bro. I, I was like, that. what, <laughs> nigga? What? So you know, once tonight was in that video. Uh, uh, Premiere. Oh, she was in that video. Yeah, that's what. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my own girl, man. Yeah, yeah, dope. I mean, I like that video, man. Yeah. Well, Y'all doing your thing on there, man. Like I said, the most important thing, man, is the music, man. I, I, I was talking about it. Shout out to Sir Charles Jones. I mm-hmm. texted him. It was yesterday or the day. I love they that came song. out with him and Boosie came out with a song together. And, and I was excited because that whole four minutes it's long, four minutes and song that messed me up. Nigga, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. We back right yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I tell Sir Charles immediately, hey, nigga, you and Boosie, I'll kill that. He's like, E, hey, man, I got to come over there and, you know, try to promote this thing. I was yeah. like, come on, nigga. Because that was a hard one. You know I think what when, I when, when a song has such a powerful message, I don't think the length of the song really matters. Because when yeah, you're really. and captivated by the words of it, yeah, that's it. You're that's just, how, that's how right, you're like just the, listening to it so the, much. The, the and short then, shit we go through now is just. <laughs> The, sh- the, sh- the short, the short, the short radio shit that they, you know. But is it making? It, is it making? But I was all for that though. From the, from the beginning though, like, hey, little bro, like I was, I was all waiting. Like, I'm, I'm not trying to spit three verses. I'm not what trying. about you? You I like breaking it. I'm, I'm done in two. I, you I, didn't I, care. I'm done in two verses, bro. I, 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 I got like, everything I, I need to it say. It <laughs> I just, I, I liked it out. I just, I just hated stopping at sixteen. That's why, like, right now, like, I don't give a fuck, yeah. nigga. I'm yeah. gonna write. I might That's have right. a 46 bar verse. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? I, I just don't like stopping the flow of things. Especially when you have a message to give across, yeah, though. You know what I mean? Because I would think that you can't give everything you want to say sometimes in I that mean, short of you, a verse. When you, a loop, when you a music lover, though, like, you can that's cut what it. you look for. Okay. That's what you look for, and, and, and the people that you look up to and that, that's doing that, that you look that's what you look for in in, 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 the, in the music. Like, continuously. You don't want it to stop. If I'm, well, you don't uh, want it to speaking stop. Speaking of not wanting to stop, will we ever get another project from y'all? It's coming up. It's coming? It's coming up. When? When? It's coming up. You ain't going to tell me. <laughs> we finna start working on it right now. It's going down. It's going down. We're going to get us one more. That's all I ask for. I'm going to be ready, nigga. I'm in the shoot, nigga. We, when you, we, when you call me then, I mean, you're going to be like, E, pull up. I'm Where we at? You know what I'm saying? Well, he don't know. It's already halfway done. We, we got, it's we already got, halfway we got, done. We got to be. We got to be. Wow. Be. How he don't know that? And he's hey, a part of it. Everything is for a time. Yeah. Right? I talk to bro all the time. Bro, are you ready? Are you ready? All right. So you got it ready and waiting for him. I got my part ready and waiting for him. It's Ooh, and there it go, it's coming up. behind him again. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. Y'all yeah, already know it's up. It's, it. But that's only going to push you even more when you hear what he got. You're going to be like, ooh, I got to come it's behind always. I, it's been like that since I started. This is okay. nothing new. This is That's that's regular got between it. us. You know what I'm he saying? He pushes you. It's always. Hey, always. Can I give you a secret on how we're with us? Yeah. Right now. You play a beat. We ain't gonna talk to each other. We gonna write what we write, chorus and all, and the song will be complete. When we let each other hear what we got, the song will be complete and it's gonna be on the same topic. Same we ain't topic. even gonna say, bro, I'm gonna write about this, or you gonna write about this. For real? We just gonna hear the beat. Yeah, that's right. And wow. When just... we link back up, bro, I was on the same shit. Yeah, all right, bet. That's crazy. We ain't missing. Y'all were meant to be. It's yeah, like it is, man. I mean, I mean like, last last project we did our way together was the tenth anniversary class. We we did it in four days. Wow. Four days. We wrote it in four days at my sister table. My sister table. We had, we just listened to every beat and went right there. How many songs was it? It's what? Wow. 16? Yeah, that's about what it was. Really more than that, but we kept like two of them off of it. That y'all won't hear sore. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna bring that back, 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 back in because they need to be heard and still. Four but, days, you know, wow. Yeah, four days. Four I, days. I never thought about. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Crook for like, I feel like that should be something that y'all should make into a movie. I already, I already, I already, <laughs> I already been talked about. I already just waiting up. 
Cause that's all that story. You could turn that. Done. You could turn all of that yeah. music into a film. Yeah, it's just waiting to be done. It's just waiting to be done. What y'all waiting on? That's, that's, that's it. That's what y'all waiting on? It's our time. It's our time. When it's done, it's, it's gonna be. It's <laughs> gonna be. Can't rush it. What they looking for? I be on God's time. That's, that's one it, thing that's about it. it. But I, when it's time to happen, it happens. You I got it. I got. And I hate. I, well, I gotta bring it up when when I see it. It was a Kevin on uh, uh, real life. Yeah. yeah, that was wow. Uh, what did you think about the interview, y'all? Just I, I gotta ask. Let me, that. let me tell you something. Now in that interview, I'm telling you, Kevin. They told a lot of truth on shit, but when he got to that deal, he started lying to y'all. Well, he started lying. He said, it, and even before that, he had a few things that he was he was lying about. A lot of truth, but he started lying at the end of it. So it's like at 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 the end of the day, bro. Like listen to him. Why, why, why would I walk away from a multi-million dollar deal you talking about? I ain't have nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. Zero, zilch, nothing, zero. Why would I be walking away from a multi-million dollar deal? What you talking about? Bro? Yeah. What you talking about? I, I ain't say nothing because I was finna bring the motherfucking papers to show y'all what the fuck was up. I ain't even gonna say nothing. I could I can I can I can find the motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple of papers from it, but I ain't got all of it to show y'all what I'm talking about. Like I, I got the I got the 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 um contract he had with ADA. When we signed this major deal, it wasn't no money up front nowhere. But that was years ago. Yeah, it, it wasn't no no I You know what I mean? But what he was talking about, I can confirm on bro. It wasn't no money up front nowhere. And Mr. It wasn't Lucci, no multi millions no no nowhere. But let me ask you something, Mr. Lucci, like with it being so long and, and it, it it's still mentally draining because y'all went through so much about it. You know what I mean? Or did you cause you you had time to think and you kinda put all that behind you and like I put it behind me once we left. Mm. Okay. See, the difference with me and Rip, like, you know what I'm saying? Rip, he really like we used there's one thing we used to bump heads about a little bit because he fought and he you know he got what he wanted he used to fought for what the, he the, the what he deserved that yeah shit. yeah you know what I'm saying I was like nigga fuck that that ain't the best of me I can fuck make all more that shit let him keep Real it you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. that was kind of where we was going you know what I'm saying but like um as far as my response with uh as far as with his with his interview, yeah, interview. you know what I mean to be honest um it was classic Kevin A. And I'm going to tell you what I mean by that, man. Far from stupid, but everything scripted. That's why it was a real-life interview, but with no real-life people uh, wow. directing it. That's why, nigga, if you see Bebe doing the interview, he looking down at these questions that Kevin A. wrote for him to ask. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I've been Kevin talking to Kevin for the, for, the, for a minute. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. The, the interview, I, I, he did exactly what I said you should do on interviews, like, which is how I know this shit ain't what's what's up, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like you, you do interviews, most motherfuckers go off they shit, shit that they know. Like you gotta give them the questions they ask for, make it that interview of what. And he did. That. He tried to do that shit. Yeah, that's not right. Then, thing. right then, yeah. like I like organic. You try, like you try to it, tell it, me geez. that was done way before this. I just I've been talking to you the last two years. We've been we've been talking. You ain't say nothing about this like this like you know what I'm saying. You ain't say nothing. Now I I've, I've, I want to go on and do my whole rebuttal of this whole thing and go on shut everything down. And it, which is really I why I ain't did it. Yeah, I really want to try to go get these papers and show what's up. Yeah, and so but, but what did what does what does it really prove though? Because you guys know That's how the thing thing, how it all went down. At the end of the day, because you prove, people I, know y'all, bro. Lying. Yeah, we ain't lying. We ain't lying, yeah. lying bro. <laughs> and for you, I know you like whatever. Oh, fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, nigga, I've always been like this, that. nigga. But look at this. Look, I'm just saying, bro. This shit is old. I know it's for That's the culture. Thank you. But this is over 25 years ago. 
What relevance does it have to be trying to bring up about, no, fuck all that. What are you doing now? Because this is one thing that don't change on a person is his character. So if he had good character and good business and we was a bad apples, he would have still been going soaring. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, nigga? And he had everything. When we left, he still had all the money and all the shit that he fucked us out of and he was still getting the checks that was going. The, so The, the shit you did after us? Yeah. I ain't did nothing. So, you know, nah, nigga. Shit, yeah. I, I, it took me a long time to get where I'm at, but the consistency of my character kept me there. You know mm -hmm, what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, nah, I don't give a shit. What he talking about? Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And keep it 100 when I came home, Bobo Luciano called me. Bobo Luciano called me and say, hey, bro, uh, you need to see Kevin A, bro. Kevin A fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, 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 his, he, he's sick. His, you know, his family got sick and shit like that. I thought all he did for me... What I do? Okay, reach out. Man, what you need? You me know too. what I'm saying? Same Man, pull up on me. I got some for you. He told me about he was uh, living spot to spot. I was like, shit, I had five bands on me. I, he don't even know because he didn't pull up. You know what I'm wow. saying? I'm finna give him some bread and all other type yeah. of shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Matter of fact, this was before I went in. It's not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's like, nah, man, come on, man. We all grown men at the end exactly. of the day. Exactly. At the end of the day, we all grown men, bro, and shit happens in life. And that's like, nigga, don't. Man, I hate when people be around me. Like, man, you they stay every time I be around the same conversation. Man, if, if it wasn't for it, man, you know, I was up, bro. But if, if I wouldn't have never lost that lick, if they wouldn't have hit that house and stole my bow, I had 10 more, I wouldn't be right here right now. But I'm gonna get back and back. All right, the first time, I, it's understandable. Second time, you're losing me. Come on, third man. time, oh, this nigga the same, he ain't gonna change, he don't want better for him. Mm -mm. He's still thinking about some shit from way back here. Come on now. Nah, mm -hmm. man. You know the word of God say no man can take a hold of plot and look back without running mm -hmm. into something. Come on. <laughs> Just simple tired. stuff like that make me Real think to keep tired. looking ahead. You know what I'm saying? Tired, bro. You Real know what I'm saying? No, like, so. I think you guys are doing a great job as far as just holding it down for the culture. You guys are what we seen and we respect it so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. And as I started this interview, I end this interview by saying thank y'all. You know what I mean? And I want y'all, I can't wait for the new project. I can't wait to see the the, the restaurant to come mm -hmm. over and the restaurant, eat my food here in a little bit. Yes. In about an hour or so, I'll be there. down there with you. And I just want to tell you, man, I'm proud of you, bro, bro. I, to come from where you came from and to still stand on y'all, too. I see the family. I see the babies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, the boys, I, I, I can't get off of it, but I asked them about the boys and the music. Because y'all boys do music. Yeah, I, I, was gonna, I almost forgot about that. And I got to say, congratulations on finally having a girl. Come on, man. Girl. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I was going to have a girl. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I got that baby. Yeah. 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 I got that girl, man. So, I love her. I so, what about them boys school. in this rap, man? Uh, I'm gonna let Rick mine's, go mine's, first, man. mine's do what he do, man. He, I really will say he the next one, man. He, he just still working. went through that situation. We got a little more time for him to get out, and and uh, he gonna step right back into it, bro. Like that's all. So, yeah, so think, he on lock right now. Yeah, he on lock right he now. He coming home though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How he long was he in there for? He he was he was in the about a year and eight months. They gave him twelve years, so he got yeah, like be home. four and a half. He be home. Mm. And he got to do be that in, yeah. in state, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. TDC. Yeah, he'd be yeah. out. He'd be out. Yours is he my, gonna got off of it or is he? Yeah, well, actually, he didn't ever want to do music. Wow. You know what I'm saying? He, he was just doing it because you done it. When I talk talking to him, mm -hmm. yeah, that's his love was the clothing. So the clothing. That's, that's when I said, well, that's all you had to say. I ain't gonna force you to do no mm -hmm. music. So then Man, I ended up taking him to my partners who got uh some clothing factories that I and let him start ordering and shit. Helped him with his first order and shit. I ain't had to have him since. He do his own ordering, own stitching. Sends me uh, uh, mock ups of his stuff. So That's yeah, good. He's, he's, Long time, he's, 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 well, you know if you, you ever be need modeling his stuff, they, they, huh? they, do you they model his stuff? In that yeah, lane I model of like, his stuff. You know what I mean? But I like a picky. He want quality pictures and this, this. He be like, but I did uh yesterday when I did Spade TV. Shout out Spade TV. I did uh shout out Spade on, on, mm -hmm. on uh, Spade TV and I was wearing his clothes on. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? You just so, do, give him a photo shoot. Yeah, yeah his clothes and just give him a photo shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna get him a photo shoot. It's a it's a trip, man. See them do their thing like, mm -hmm. like, like that though. You know what I'm saying, and yeah. and, and kind of try to refrain from I, 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 I involved. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like my boy rapping, like I didn't, 
I I've been knowing he could he could do it. They I've been having I got videos of them little in the studio rapping doing that thing. I got songs that they did when they were little, mm -hmm. all that. But I ain't know he. Had, I told him then. I said, nigga, just cause I'm your daddy, don't mean you gonna get it. Just give you know, it to you. Yeah, you gotta like, work like for that. it. Yeah, you gotta show me respect something. It. You gotta show me something. He ain't say nothing else to me. They went to work. I didn't even know he had an album. I didn't know he was doing song. I didn't know he was in a studio. But when I found out, he had, he got nine, ten songs already that he went and did himself. I'm like, I got I got my studio. I got cats that got shit like that. I got, I could have done. Did you? You know, I could have gonna put you in them places. And he just wanted to do it on his own. All on his own. But cause I told him. Mm -hmm. Just cause it's finna be just cause I'm your dad and nigga ain't finna be giving to you like like that. He went on on his own and did That's everything, good. bro. Like everything on the album he did, he did, he did, it. did on his own. I had no input, no I didn't know nothing about none of it. Wow. At the end of the day, he got a whole album he did himself. Wow, and that's hard. That's I love that about that's that's Check hard. Me out, bro. I want you to give me his address and his information so I can write him. I'll be writing, man. No, well, they got the they got the old tablets now. You can't write them. I now. can't write a letter. Yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta text him and shit now. They got this no, tablet. Yeah. I can write. I oh, got you can see the number. Yeah, that, yeah but they, you can't do the writing. shit You can't no do the writing no more. They, that's probably why they sent my stuff back. No, but that's state. That's the federal might yeah, be. I, I wrote federal feds, might but, but I'm gonna the feds the same them, enough. Yeah. All of them? Nah, they going digital on everything. everything. Oh, they can see everything. Them writing letters when you were there? Yeah. I, I show what y'all But they got to have they got so, the tablets so, now. So, but, but I mean, the inmates have, I know they always get computers, but so they have tablets now? Tablets. Yeah. In their own we cell? We don't have to get yeah. into that. Uh, wow. Tom Tom on his tablet. <laughs> Damn. You know, well, I'm gonna get me a tablet. So they don't have to hide phones no more. Cause they be in there trying to hide cell phones yeah, and stuff. Got man. All, they got all the technology. Check it, man. Phones ain't gonna go nowhere, man. Yeah. Man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Did uh, we leave I, anything I, out? Uh, I do want to say something. Let's go, go ahead, cause I saw like you was trying to say. Yeah, nah, uh, nah. I was just I was about to tell him with them tablets, but uh, nah. I do want to <laughs> say something uh, with 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 Dallas. You know what I'm saying? The with music. The city, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Is it the music or Tell yes, me. everything? You know what I'm saying? With the city, with the culture, it's the whole. You know, we uh we up right now. We been up. We need to stay up. Come you on, know what I'm saying? And this is for the new Dallas to the old Dallas. Come on, you know now. what I'm talking about? The Dallas as a whole, man. We are each other's keepers, man. Help each other. Continue to nourish each other. Love each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and goddamn me. Do it how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm talking about? Be these, be these motivators, be these leaders that these guys looking up to. You know, zillionaire doe, I see you. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, Goddamn time. big X, I love it. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Little Ronnie, hood fame, everybody doing their thing. I see you. Just continue to do it and don't stop and don't let them create a narrative for our city that's not really the narrative. Wow. Yeah, you understand? They've like, they been doing be that, around. man. So they been... Yeah, don't, 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 don't let that, man. You know what I'm saying? And shit. Uh, shout out still Mo three, man. Always. Shout out still Mo three. Legend is out right now, man. Y'all go get that boy out. Yeah, and you, you know and you seen Yellow Beezy put Dion Sanders on that on that track? What track? He put him on the track with him. On the track, Dion. Yeah, Dion. Oh no, nah, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, Dion Sanders. I didn't know that. Dion Sanders put some bars on that hoe too. Went oh, down yeah? through there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all got it. Oh, Dion. <laughs> I gotta check it out, man. Shout out to Yellow Beezy, man. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's, 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 that's my boy, that's man. Boy, man, man thank y'all, man. I love you, boys, man. Man, right there. Like I said, man. Anytime I can do anything to help on this platform, this y'all platform, for man. Y'all call me. I'm pulling over these cameras. What's up, man? <laughs> y'all get, get, get ready, man. What's up? Us? Big D too, man. This is the first time. Man, man. recipes. Whoa, big man. Big you know, and that's yeah. my that was my boy. Yeah. You know, I talked to him. I put yes. out interviews and stuff and stuff we done. Man, um, his family. We went to his funeral, and it, it, like I said. Man, you never would have seen it coming. That's why I have to tell you I love you. If you know yeah. this, all, we, I we say it all the time. That time so I want you to know before I, when I leave off this platform. Hey, man, I love you, bro. Oh uh, man, if it's anything you need, holler at me. I'm rocking with you. You know, you gotta say that kind of stuff. Real time, and gotta bro. stand on it. You know what I'm saying? Real time. Real Check time. it, man. Hey, yeah, man, man, them times, man. How can people get a hold of you if they trying to reach out? Man, y'all 
Y'all uh, hit me on that Instagram or Facebook, anything. Mr. Lucci Dallas on all platforms. Man. I'm working, I'm moving, I'm out. All right. Be Chose. real Mr. Pookie, man. Be real Mr. Pookie. T H E. No, not the other one. They got me. All right, dude. They got me, but check it, man. man, Mr. Pookie, man. Y'all hit me up or Brian Jones. My real name on Facebook, man. Y'all fuck with me. Y'all know what's up. Y'all gonna catch me everywhere though. I'm on. I'm on every platform. You can. That's out there. Damn. I'm on it. Check it, man. Hey, man. Make sure you guys get into these clips, man. The next clip coming up, Mr. Pookie, Mr. Lucha, man. Back in the building for the first time in years. Y'all gotta see this interview, man. It's potent. It's going down, man. And this ain't the last time coming, man. We put a rock out. The new project is on know the what's way. Up, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out. It's a boss.